What's good, YouTube? That one ain't here. Back again, once again. And today, people, today we are back for our second TCG opening. Uh, this week we have the X and Y Flash Fire deck. Of course, last week we started all this off with the most recent release, the most recent set that just came out, Fierce Fist. And we're gonna work our way backwards. Uh, we do have the X and Y base set ready to go. That'll be up next Sunday. But I just want to thank you guys because last week for something that is completely—I don't want to say it's out of the blue, but you know, like we've never really had. Well, I did card openings a long ass time ago, but since then we haven't really had any sort of like trading card game. Uh, aspects on the channel and whatnot, but for it to be our first time, basically I'm just going to consider it our first time on the channel, you guys came out and showed so much crazy insane support, so thank you guys so much, but of course if you are looking forward to this week's opening, make sure you smash that like button down below as well, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, it will be your favorite card, uh, I think I mentioned at the end of last episode, and I want to mention at the beginning of this one, so you guys like know what to look out for and whatnot. so if you end up watching all the way through, let us know what your favorite pull is in the comment section below, and of course, if you are hyped for this week's opening, make sure you smash the like button down below for us. And uh, of course, you just want to support the series, and you just want you want content like this to keep coming. Make sure you smash the like button for us. But, 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 I do have. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and start cracking this bitch open. I do have uh, some announcements for you guys detailing these series. This is something that I've thought about at the end of last week's episode, but I kind of like already finalized it, and I was uploading. And I was just like, well, I have to wait till next week for that one. Um, but what I'm gonna do, number one, what I'm gonna do right now while I'm talking about this, is I'm actually gonna take my handy dandy scissors here, and I'm going to, uh, cut the tops of all the packs, because there's lots of packs in here, and the last time it took us 45 minutes, and I just wanna, I don't necessarily, I don't think it's gonna speed up the process that much, but you never know until you try it, so, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the giggity goddamn box here, the giggity goddamn box, and again, you know, like I said, like I did last week, if you guys aren't sure what a, uh, booster box exactly is, does this look familiar now? Does it look familiar now? Does it look familiar? Like it's the thing that sits in the store and your parents might buy you one or two of them? <laughs> Bought the whole goddamn box, nigga. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and uh, cut these, cut the tops of them. I want to do this on camera so that you guys can see. So it's not like, oh god, he cut them open and he knows what's inside. No, 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 I don't know what's inside. So hopefully, hopefully we should be good. We should be good. If there's any TCG people out there watching and this is just like the definition of like the worst move ever. Then let me know. I mean, as you guys can see, all I did, all I did was just cut them open. That's it. I didn't, it didn't even go all the way through. I'm just, I'm just cutting them so it's easier for us to get into. Just calm down. Just calm down. Just calm down. And they're actually, I'm still gonna open them in the exact same order too, so it's not that big of a deal. By the way, I wanted to touch on two points real quick before we actually got into the opening. Um, number one, a lot of you guys uh, asked if I would open up a PO box or if I had a PO box. Period. Um, for those of you guys that wanted to send in cards. Um, I actually had a P.O. box a while back, and I just never really ever did anything with it, so that was kind of just like, <laughs> way to go, nappy, you know? Um, so I could possibly gander, or gander, meander down to the post office again and see what I can do to open it up again. Um, it probably won't be for the, uh, I'd say the next week or so, next couple weeks or so, because as you guys are watching this, I'm actually still in Seattle for PAX Prime. <laughs> Uh, that's why I'm recording this again at nighttime, even though I said last time that wasn't, but you know, it came out, it actually came out, it didn't really come out all too bad, in my opinion, last week's video, and there wasn't a whole lot of you guys that really, um, said anything about how bright or how dark it was or anything like that, so I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it too much, I'm not gonna worry about it too much, I, I was, I was able to see everything that was going on, and I assume you guys were as well, um, so yeah, so a P.O. Box, it's definitely something that will be on the way, just be patient with it for me. And the other thing that I wanted to do was that I think one thing that I'm going to do to help involve you guys a bit more in this series, um, I think that I'm going to go all out, let's go all out. Whatever we're opening that week, I'm going to give away one of them. You know, so like for example, this week, I'm going to give away a booster box of Flash Fire. Like, I'm not just talking about a pack, I'm not just talking about one card, I'm going to give away the entire goddamn box. Obviously not the one that I'm opening right now, but you guys get what I'm saying. Um, how I'm going to end up uh, doing it, I don't know, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I think that I want to, um, I don't know if I want to do it like at the end of the month, and just do like one big recap video, and like announce all the winners then, or should I just do it week by week? I think I might just do it week by week, but either way, um, stick around until the end of the video, of course, to figure out how you can get your hands 
on one of these booster boxes as well. A lot of you guys said that since I was opening them last week, it was like a blast to, to the past, and you had to go out and get some cards for yourself, and yada, 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 yada. So, like I said, stick around until the end of the video to figure out how to get your hands on a booster box of your own. Uh, I'm not going to worry about last week's. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But either way, this week, we're going to be giving away a box of Flash Fire. Uh, the X and Y set Flash Fire. All of them have been pre-opened and whatnot, so let's go ahead and get into this, bitch! Okay, so this is take two, because apparently I started talking, and I opened up a pack, and, I, I mean, I didn't see anything, I just see the Helium Tilots on the front, but I apparently I opened up the pack, and the goddamn camera wasn't recording, so let's try this one again, goddamn. Alright, so the first pack that you see here, we have, get this goddamn keyboard out of my way. I don't want my glasses to fall. Get this goddamn keyboard out the goddamn way. Alright, so our first pack here, you guys see we have a Helium Up Tile. Then we have a Boonary. A Sfeel. Look at little Sfeel. Look at little Sfeel. Then we have a Spritzy. Again, that fairy, that fairy, uh, that fairy type background is still, is still so goddamn new to me. It's just like, what the hell? What the hell is that? What am I looking at? Alright, then after that we have Binnacle. Look at Binnacle. What the hell? I like how they include Binnacle in the Flash Fire Pack. I'm sure you guys can see it a bit better than I can at the moment, but I love the background on this card. I absolutely love the background on this card. That's really fucking amazing. I love that. Uh, it's nice and fighting typing, too. <laughs> Up next, we have a Reverse Holographic Floette. Not even bad. It's got Petal Blizzard and Razor Leaf. That's a very, very nice card. Let me let me back that back that thing up, nigga. Uh -huh. Then we have a Holographic Dust Wire. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. He's going to go ahead and get put aside. I'll show you guys him in a moment. Then we have a Rapid Dash. It's really, really nice. I like this card. I like the art on this card a lot because it's almost a, like a silhouette. It's almost a silhouette of the Rapid Dash. And honestly, I, I feel like that was what they were going for. Because I feel like, like, for example, let's say that you just like you were abandoned in a desert one day or some shit. And you woke up and all of a sudden it's like the beginning of an epic novel. And there's just flaming Pegasus horse thing. And it's all of a sudden it's just a silhouette in the sun. Either way, it's amazing. It's, it has a move called Overrun. That sounds so powerful. They should they should make well they already have Thrash. I was gonna say they should make they should make a fire type outrage. Because you have Thrash, that's normal type, then you have Outrage. They should make like uh then you have Pedal Blizzard, which is grass. No, it's Pedal Dance, not Pedal Is it Pedal Blizzard? It's Pedal Dance, I think. They should have one uh for, for fire types called Overrun. That'd be so powerful. That'd be so powerful. Either way, then we have a blacksmith, which makes sense, it's flash fire. It's a blacksmith card. And then a Sneasel as well. So that's going to go ahead and wrap up our first pack. As I said, I was going to go ahead and show you guys the Dust and Wire card as well. Hopefully it doesn't it doesn't get cut off this time. I, last time when I was doing this, it was kind of sort of getting cut off. But you know what? It was the first time. There's a first time for, for everything. But as you can see, it's nice and holographic. He's just chilling in the woods there. That's awesome in my opinion. That's fucking awesome. God damn, this fucking keyboard. Shit's pissing me the hell off. I ain't got no time for you to be messing with me right now, man. I ain't got no time. No time. No time. No time. No time. Oh, shit. Dexter over here. All right, so the next one we have is a Pyro pack. So let's go ahead and pull open this goddamn p Roar pack and scoop out the TCG Go. TCG Go card from the back. So starting off the bat, we have another binnacle. Of course, you guys, like we said last week, as we see more and more of these common ones, we're not going to spend as much time looking at them because we are going to have a lot of repeats. But then we have a Weasel as well. We have another Spritzy. We have a C Dot, a Scrump. Then we have a Reverse Holographic with Psy Shot and Fake Out. Reverse Holographic Esper. Then we have a Lopunny. Ooh, look at Lopunny. Look at that art on that Lopunny card. Oh, that's powerful. Then we have a Rosa. Ooh, look at Rosaray. Just look at the sass of Rosaray. Rosaray gives no fucks. Rosaray gives no fucks. We have a Rosaray. We have a Furfro. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to show you guys that one here in a minute. And then, of course, we have a Crocorock. I'm going to show you guys that Furfro just because I like it because they stylized it. Like, they stylized the Furfro. You see what I'm saying? They have a move called Tight Jaw. Where's Shady Penguin? Tight Milk. Tight Milk. Come on now. Come on, man. Focus for me, goddammit. There we go. Tight jaw. But like I said, I just love how they style and it's, it's out of focus again. But you guys you guys can see how they stylize the fur from and everything. So that's that's bad as fuck. That's badass as a motherfucker. Next up we have a mega Kangaskhan pack to go ahead and peel open. And let's see what we gonna get up inside this motherfucker right here. Y'all. Right, y'all, I'm trying to, uh, to stray away from the word powerful, because I guess I said it too many times in the last week's episode. By the way, we have a Bergmite here, a little chili Bergmite, a Roselia to match the Roserade that we just got. It's got cut. How the hell are you going to teach an HM? What the hell? We have a Gumi. Why do they do this to the 6th gen? Is it just the 6th gen ones? Have I been missing out? No, because the Bergmite 
Bergmite doesn't look like that. Why do they do that 3D model shit? Like, in my opinion, personally, I'm not a fan of it. I wasn't a fan of it when I was a kid, and I'm not a fan of it now. Like, you guys see the difference? It's probably cut off because of the way I edit the video, but still. Like, you see how it's, like, an actual drawn image, and then this is, like, a 3D model? I do not like the 3D models. That's just me, personally. I do not like 3D models. They did that for Tyrantrum. They did that for Pangoro, I think, in the, um, Furious Fist set, and it's just, I'm just like, why? So now, Gujar's gonna be like that, and it's just like, ugh. We have Caterpie, anybody give a damn about no whack ass Caterpie? We have a Geodude, look at Geodude's face. Blah, blah. We have a Sneasel, a reverse holographic Sneasel. Ooh, that's powerful. You guys see the dark typing? Like the dark type logo in the background? That's powerful, that's powerful. Oh my lord! Oh my god, look at that art for Wall Rain! Oh my god, Wall Rain. I'm gonna show you guys that here in a minute. We have a protection cube, another Floet. A Luxio, and let me see, hold up, let me, let me, let me tilt this back up just a tiny bit. Look at this wall rain, it's got Powder Snow and Big Tusk, this attack is 120 damage. Oh my lord, they need to make that, they need to make that a thing in the actual game right there. Big Tusk, look at how powerful, that reminds me of the Slacking from Furious Fists. That's so pow, that's such a powerful card art. My lord, now since, mm, I'm almost focused, god damn it. But as you guys can see, you guys can see it for the most part, can you Fucking focus! My lord, that's so aggravating. But anyways, anyways, as you guys can see, that card art, like imagine that in a 3D sense. It would it just wouldn't look the same. It would not be the same. So I don't know. I love it. That wall rain is powerful. That wall rain is very, very powerful. Alright. So let's get a move on. Let's get a move on to the next one here. We have a Mega Charizard Y on this one. Just want to detail all the packs for you guys so that you can see them as well. So, in our Mega Charizard Y pack, we have a Pineco. Nice in second gen, Pineco. Then we have a Sveal. We have a Buneri. A Caterpie. A Ponyta to match a Rapdash. That's a sick ass card art, too, on top of the mountain like that. God damn. We have a Reverse Holographic Feebaz. Huh. And then we have. Oh my god! We have a Charizard EX! It's not a Mega Charizard or anything like that, but it's still Charizard. I'll get you guys a closer inspection of that here in a minute, of course, if it wants to fucking focus. But we have Magnastorm, we have a Torkoal, and Startling Megaphone. Nice and powerful. Startling Megaphone. Alright, so let's let's take a let's take a closer gander at this Charizard EX card here. Can we please focus on the Charizard? There we go. There we go. See the, the webcam knows what's up. Fire Blast that one that, that, why why are you gonna focus? Why the hell you got to focus? It was good to go just a minute ago, and now you got to focus. God damn it. I'm going to have to get, like, if, if we continue, if we keep this series up, I'm going to get, like, a dedicated area, because I'm just sitting at my desk doing this. I'm going to have to get, like, a dedicated area for this shit and whatnot. But you guys can see the, the Charizard X. Perfectly fine. It's got a move called sh sh uh, Stoke. I, almost, I thought it said Strike. I was going to say, it's badass enough just to hit you, just Strike. But I'm going to go ahead and lean that uh, that bad boy right there. Hey, 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 work with me here. Work with me. I'm going to move my mouse pad forward just a tiny bit. So that you guys can still see it in the background and whatnot. Alright, so let's go ahead. Keep going over here. We have a Mega Charizard X now. God damn it. We have a Mega Charizard X now. Let's go ahead and crack this bitch open. Go ahead and crack this bitch open. As you can see, we're gonna lead with a Dust Skull here. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, we got a Dust Skull. Then we have another. Oh, we don't have another. We just have Fly Bay Bay. All it has is aromatherapy. Another Pineco. A Sentret. It's kind of interesting how it's just like standing there all by itself. Sentret. We have a Feebas. It's only move is Surprise Attack. Then we have another Reverse Holographic Sneasel. Another one, not bad. Then we have a Dragalge. Ooh. I like how it, it just makes it look like it's in the depths. Like it's just all by itself. Like the only thing down here is Dragalge. Nothing dares enter its territory. That's powerful. That's a powerful card right there. My lord. Then we have a Sligoo, which again has that. 3D art on it, whatever you want to call it. We have a Trick Shovel and a Graveler. Graveler, he's got Double Edge and Rollout. Not bad. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Of course, we're still on the hunt for uh, Mega Evolution cards, of course, and whatnot. Uh, I just ripped open a Pyroar pack. I think we've seen all the, the covers to them, at least, for right now. Um, so next up, we have a Roselia. Then we have a Gumi. A Flabebe. Hey, Flabebe. A Sandile. He's got surprise attack as well. God damn. The hell? Then we have a Bergmite. He's got a move called Stomp Off. Hello. We have a reverse holographic sacred ash. Ooh. Powerful. 
Then we have a Weavile. It's got Call for Family and Claw Rend. Weavile. Ooh. We have a Pidgeotto. I love seeing this. It's got Ambush. I love seeing this after so many years. Pidgeotto and just first gen Pokemon are still getting love. I love that. Pokemon Fan Club with the six straight six gen trainer sprites, of course, down there. And then we have a Celio. Look at how happy that Celio is. Look at how happy that Celio is. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. All right, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up that pack as well. As well. And let's see here, the last of our initial bunch, we have a Mega Kangaskhan. I'd love to get a Mega Kangaskhan card. That would make my day. That would make my day. We have a Shinx. Look at how happy Shinx is. Shinx and Wal... Wal I almost said Walrein. Celio go together so well. We have a Sandile. We have a Dot. He's got Call for Family as well. We've got a Pidgey. Peck off. Peck off. Get the Peck off. Peck the fuck up out of here. We have a Stunky. He's got a move called Spray Fluid. Hello. We have a Reverse Holographic Golem with Stone Edge and Explosion. Oh, powerful. That's so nice. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to show you guys that, that uh, whatchamacallit, that, uh, that, uh, that art as well. I'm going to put that aside. Then we get a Pyroar. And again, like, look at this. It's got that 3D model. I do not... Everything about this would be so much better if it just didn't have that goddamn 3D model in my opinion. It's got Scorching Fane and Intimidating Mane. Oh, that's holographic too! I almost didn't see it. I was so focused on the 3D model of it. So I'll show you guys both of those here in a minute. We have a Metapod, a Love Disc, Lissandre, oh, and Lissandre. That's the last one there. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you guys. Let me show you guys the Golem first. Let's check this one out. Just check that card art out. That's so powerful. That's so... Ooh. He's just like, it's like he just exploded himself, revived again, now he's back to fuck you up, nigga, goddamn. That's powerful, I love that, I love that card art so much. Then we have the, re we have, I almost said reverse holographic, we have a holographic pyroar. Go ahead and check that out. Check that out. Check it out. Can we focus? Would you like to focus? Doesn't like to focus. I don't know what it is, like this webcam is one of the best webcams that I've ever had. What if I hold it back? If I hold it back a little bit more, you guys can see it a bit more. It's one of the best webcams I've ever had, but it does not like to have shit up close and personal with it. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out the other half of our first row and see what the hell we got up in this bitch right here. Right here. I'll remove the TCG Go card from the deck, of course. From the deck. What the hell? We have a Litleo again with that 3D model. It's got one move called Combustion. We have a Geodude, another Geodude, No, oh, he's so happy, another Geodude. We have a Feebas, we have a Sentret, we have a Duskull, we have a Fletchling that's reverse holographic. Because it's normal type, it's got the stars on it, and that looks, oh my lord, that looks so nice. That looks so nice. Then we have a Floet, it's, it's not holographic or anything, it's just a Floet. An Ultra Ball, a Fletchinder, it's got a move called Fire Breathing. And then a Luxio. Oh, it's got electric counter. Electric counter. Electric counter. What the hell? Electric counter. All right, so scoop those aside. Let's go ahead and open up our next Mega Charizard X pack. I would, I would love, to, I would absolutely love to get a Mega Charizard X in this. I would absolutely love it. We got. Oh, I don't want to spoil last week's. So if you guys want to check it out, you can go check it out. I won't spoil it for you guys. But then we have a Spiritzy here. We have another Lit Leo with a different design, a different move. We have Fire Mane on it. We have a Sneasel. We have a Flabebe. Hey, Flabebe. We have a Fletchling. This is not reverse holo or anything like that. But then we have a reverse holographic wall rain here. Ooh, with the water drops on it. I love that. That's so powerful. Wall rain. Oh, Lord, wall rain. Then we have a Snorlax. It's got a move called Sleepy Press. Do you guys see that? It's got a move called Sleepy Press. I love that so much. That art is nice. I really like that. I wish that was holographic. I really do. I really wish that was holographic. Then we have a Nuzleaf. We have an Avalug. Ooh, he's got a ooh, he's got a move called Shatter. Oh, why is that so powerful? Uh, again, that's, that's one of those moves that should be a real thing, and that should break like light screen, safeguard, uh, barrier. No, barrier is not an actual thing. That's just that's, that's that old first gen bullshit right there. Uh, reflect, shit like that. Shatter. Oh my God, it's so powerful. Then we have Maractus as well. Maractus. Who remembers Maractus from 5th gen? What the hell? Maractus seems like a Pokemon that's from like 2nd gen or something. No, it's 6th gen. It's 6th gen. I mean, not 6th gen. 5th gen. All right. God damn it. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, move things right along into our next pack as well. Let's see what we got here. We have a Sneasel. Then we have a Seedot. A Flabebe. Hey, Flabebe. 
a Shinx as well, Paralyzing Gaze. We have a Stunky. We have a Reverse Holographic Pokemon Fan Club. Then we have a Holographic Milotic. Ooh! Ooh! Look at that. It's got Waterfall. I'll give you guys a close-up of that here in a minute. We have a Floet. We have a Protection Cube. And a Pal Pad. I like how it actually looks like a pad, too. I don't know if you guys can see it. But, like, it actually looks like a book. Like, it opens up and whatnot. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Alright, let's go ahead and put these aside real quick. And show off this Milotic. Ooh! Ooh, I really like that a lot. I really like that Milotic a lot. You, can you please focus on the Milotic? Can you please? Thank you. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. It's. I tried to. It tried to. I feel like it's getting mixed up between my face and the Milotic. You wanna? You wanna? You wanna do the damn thing? Huh? Huh? Like you're ruining my video, Mr. Camera. You're ruining my video. Ugh. Anyways, there's the Milotic. It's got waterfall on it and everything. Holographic. Ooh. I love that Milotic so much. I love that Milotic so much. That's a powerful, powerful Milotic. I love that. I love it. I don't care if I say powerful 900 times in the goddamn row. That's a powerful, powerful Milotic. But anyways, let's see here. Up next, our next pack, we lead off with a Gumi here. Then we have a Skrelp. Then we have another Ponyta. A Boonary. An Esper. An Esper. A reverse holographic ponytail that looks amazingly beautiful because of that fire logo behind it as well. I love that. I love that so much. Normally, I don't like a lot of this stuff behind the text, like in the in the background as a backdrop. That's one of the main reasons I really did not like. Uh, what was it? Plasma Storm it came out like a year ago or something like that because they had that big ass, ugly ass Team Plasma logo behind it. And plus, I didn't like the card art on a lot of that either. That was a lot of 3D shit too. So I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. But this is nice. Why? Why do we stop? Why do we stop? Why do we stop? Why do we stop? Can we continue? Can we continue? See, the camera just, it's got, just got a fucking mind of its goddamn own. Alright, so Ponyta's good to go. We have a Golem. We already saw Golem once. It's not holographic or anything. We have a Crocorock. Crocorock! Oh, oh, pull to it once. We have Pokemon Center Lady, which is Nurse Joy. <laughs> we have a Dusclops for the last one. It's got a move called Cursed Drop. Wow. Wow, I feel like that should be like a two-turn Ghost move. Well, we already have two-turn Ghost moves like, uh, what is it, Phantom Force? Shit like that. We should have another one called uh, Cursed Drop, where it's like it's like bounce or some shit. I don't know. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Look, I mean, I'm trying to open it up regularly when I've already cut the packs open, already cut these bitches on open. All right, so we're gonna take the TCGO card out. We have a Fletchling to start this pack off. We have a Ponyta to start this. Well, it's not to start this pack off. We have Ponyta next. Then we have an Esper. Then we have a Pidgey. Pack off. We have a Litleo. A Sligoo, a reverse holographic Sligoo, and the Dragon, the Dragon uh, TCG logo, the Dragon type TCG logo is powerful. Oh, that's nice. That Sligoo's nice. Then we have a Luxray. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that art. 200% honest with you. It's not holographic. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not holographic. Yeah, it's not holographic or anything like that. Sometimes it's, it's kind of tricky to tell. But still, I'm, I don't know how I feel about that art, to be 100% honest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in just a little bit with it. I don't know how I feel about that art. Like, I like that he's pouncing, I like all the electricity and everything around him, but just, like, he looks kind of derpy to me. Maybe it's just how it's drawn. Like, it, the best way I can describe it is, like, you guys know, like, the original Kensu Mori arts, then you have the Dream World art. Like, the Dream World art's kind of sort of goofy. Like, that's how I feel. Like, it's not bad. Like, Dream World arts aren't bad, unless it's Ivysaur. Ivysaur Dream World art is the most stupidest, stupidest thing ever. I don't know why anybody decided to put his ass all the way up in the air like that, but another time, another place. We have a Metapod. We have a Mill Tank. It's got a move called Powerful Friends and Hammer In. It sounds like Mill Tank's lonely and it's just it needs friends. It's got powerful friends, and if you don't want to be its friend, it's gonna hammer itself into your friends list, goddammit. And then we have Sacred Ash as well. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap up that pack right there. That pack right there. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This is a Mega Charizard X pack. I wish I could get a Mega Charizard. We've only gotten one EX card this entire time as well. <sighs> I'm not holding out faith. We're almost halfway through the box. <laughs> Anyways, we have a Buizel to start this one off with. Then a Centret. It's got Tail Smack. <laughs> we have a Sfeel. A Scraggy. Scraggy was in uh, Furious Fist as well, but look at little Scraggy. Look at him. He's just a little troublemaker. Then we have a Litleo with Combustion. We have a Reverse Holographic Spritzy. Check that out. Check that out. Check that out. Check that out. Then we have a Holographic Carbink. Ooh, it's got a move called Wonder Blast. 
Wow. I'll show you guys that here in a minute. I'll, I'll put that aside real quick. Then we have Startling Megaphone, a Roserade again, and a Furfru, the same one. I wonder if there's different Furfrus with different styles in it and whatnot, different styling and whatnot. But we'll see here in a minute. But let me guys, let me show you guys this Carbink. Let me show you guys this Carbink. This powerful, powerful Carbink. That holographic. I don't know what it is about that card. Sometimes simplicity is just the best thing. And it's just such a simple card. Can you please, for the love of God, focus? I, I'm, I gotta get a different camera if I'm gonna continue this. Over the next couple weeks, we're gonna we're gonna change our setup here. But still, that's that's so powerful. I love it. There's just something about the simplicity behind the car that's just it's beautiful in my opinion. So it's gonna go ahead and get put aside. Up next, we have a pyro pack, a nice and pyro pack. God damn it! I cut you already. Open yourself up. Shit! You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! All right. So this time, let me get a look. Let me get a gander. Oh, I love it. I love the art. I don't know why I love the art so much on that one. We have a binnacle to start off with. Then we have a Stunky, a Scraggy again, then we have a Skrelp, oh I thought that was holographic for a second, we have a Weasel, we have a Reverse Holographic Crocorock, you can see the, the, the dark symbol in the background, it's got Dark Clamp, I don't know why, I feel like a Mega Cloister should be Water Dark or, I don't, I, it's already got decent typing, shit, I don't know, but Dark Clamp, just cause it gets Clamp. Then we have a Babarical. It's not holographic or anything. It's got Rock Rush. Ooh, and Boulder Crush. Rock Rush sounds powerful as well. I mean, it's Dragon Rush. Why not Rock Rush? We have Binnacle. Then we have Fiery Torch. Powerful. The originality, the, the originality, the originality is strong in this in this set. Then we have another Avalug. Then we have a Sneasel. And that's going to go ahead and wrap up that pack. That pack right there, you guys. That pack, that pack, that pack, that pack, that pack. All right, so we have a Mega Kangaskhan pack coming your way. I don't know. I haven't been getting super duper lucky so far. We just have Charizard just chilling over there by himself. But as we open up this next pack, we're going to leave with a Flabebe. Bay. Flabebe. Bay. Hey. Then we have a Stunky. Then we have a Roselia. Then we have a Binnacle. Then we have a Pineco. Did I say Pineco? Pineco. We have a Reverse Holographic Roselia. Nice and Reverse Holographic. Then we have a Quillfish. That's not holographic or anything. Thanks, Quillfish. Thanks for, thanks for being in, in the pack, Quillfish. Then we have another Happy Ass Celio. A Magnetic Storm card. And a Torkoal. It's got Live Coal as a move. I'm gonna hit you with this powerful Live Coal. That Choice Bandit Live Coal. Back the fuck up before you get hit with some Live Coal, nigga. Some Live Coal. Alright, so now we have a, another Mega Charizard Y. Can we get a Mega Charizard Y card, please? We have a Geodude to start the pack off with. A Helioptile. This is only the second time we've seen it. It's got Destructive Beam on it. Whoa. Whoa. A Boonary. A Sveal. A Spritzy. A reverse holographic startling megaphone. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, that's so powerful! We got a holographic Gudra! Oh my I'm gonna I gotta show you guys that here in a minute. That's powerful! Oh! Ooh! We have a Rapidash, we have a Furfru, and a Sligo. Ain't nobody care! We have a reverse without well, a reverse, we have a holographic Gudra! Oh my lord, it's got a heavy whip! and gooey regeneration and I mean this is kinda of sorta of like a 3D model I guess you could kinda of sorta of say that it is not so much maybe that's why I like it nice that doesn't look as like like compare the two like compare this unless it's a different art set you know what I mean like look at how, like, how much of a 3D model that one is compared to that like that that Gudra that Gudra can I please focus my lord can I please focus get, get, get some I'm gonna hold it back this far will you focus then but still just look at that Gudra Oh my lord! Oh my lord! That's so, that's so powerful. I love it. I love this card. This card is amazing. The Noivern card from Furious Fist was powerful. This Gujar card from Flashfire is just, oh my god. Oh my lord! It's 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 too good. It's too good. All right, so let's go ahead and work our way through our next one. We're almost halfway through. One more pack, and we are halfway through our box. Ah, ah. Next up, we have a Pidgey, then a Caterpie. Pidgey can use Peck off on the Caterpie. Then we have a Bergmite. A Feebass, a Geodude, a Reverse Holographic Pineco, nice and Pineco. Ugh. 
Then we have a fort. Oh, what are the chances? We have Pineco and then Fortress back to back. God damn. Giggity god damn. We have Fortress. It's not holographic or anything. It's got a nice move called Iron Crash. I like the name of that. I like the name of that. Then we have Luxio. We have a Pidgeotto. And then a Pokemon Fan Club. I hope I'm not going to the, through this too fast. I feel like I'm going through this one a lot faster than last week's. And I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I just got to catch my stride. And after a couple weeks, I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. But all right. So we are now halfway through. Halfway through indeed, we have a Feebas to start this pack off with. Then we have a Bergmite. Then we have a Roselia. Then we have another Gumi, Lord Gumi over here. We have a Caterpie. I swear to God, if I got a reverse holographic Caterpie, oh my lord. We have a reverse holographic Babarical. Ooh, Babarical's in the building. Then we have a Floatzel, not holographic or anything. An Ultra Ball. Oh, 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 we have a Graveler. And then, last but not least, we have Trick Shovel. I'm, I don't know about you guys, but we have not gotten very lucky at all. We've gone through half of this box so far. It's Flash Fire Box. We've gone through half of it so far. Here is the other half, what's left to go. We've gone through half of it so far, and all we've gotten, all we, the only really, really decent cards, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six holographic cards, and one EX, so I'm hoping... Hoping and praying that these this other half of the box is a lot better to us than the first half was, because it's not looking too good. It's not looking too good at all. Alright, so we up well, no, I will say up next. Leading off this pack, we have a Buizel. Then we have a Spritzy. Then we have a C Dot. A Scrump. Then we have a Shinx. A reverse holographic shift tree. Ooh. It's got a move called Deranged Dance. That's so dark. That is so dark. That's so... Oh, that's so terrifyingly dark. Oh, my lord. We got another Snorlax. I love this card, but it's not holographic. Oh, god damn it. We have Lissandre. We have a Dusclops. And last but not least, we have another Pidgeotto. Oh, Deranged Dance. That sounds so powerful. I don't know if that would fit in the game necessarily, but still, that just sounds so powerful. Deranged Dance. Like, I feel like if they ever made a ROM hack or something, they can put that in there. Deranged Dance, and it like, I don't know, it should it should work like Shadow Tag or some shit, where it just like, it locks all opponents in the field until the user faints or some shit like that. That'd be powerful. Uh, Alright, up next we have a Sneasel in our next pack. We have a C-Dot. Then we have a Scrump. Another Scraggy. A Fly Baby. Hey! Then we have a Reverse Holographic Duskull with Sneaky Placement and Revival on it. Nice Reverse Holographic Duskull. We have a Dragalge, not holographic either. <laughs> Come on now, yo! We have a Fiery Torch. I wouldn't mind seeing a holographic version of that. I feel like the fire, the flames look very, very nice. Look very, very nice. Then we have a Sligu. And last but not least, we have another Furfru. A tight jaw Furfru. A tight jaw Furfru. Not bad. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so up next we have Flash Fire. Flash Fur. Flash Fur in the building. Flash Fur. Removing the TCG Oak online code, we have a Stunky. Then we have a Geodude. A Fletchling. A Feebass. A Pidgey. A Reverse Holographic Furfru. Not bad. Just making fun of Tight Jaw, and here it comes in the building. Then we have a Weavile. Not holographic either. A Love Disc. It's got Heartwink and Spike Draw on it. Then we have an Ultra Ball. And a Graveler. I'm telling you, our luck, oh my lord. It, it needs to start to turn around here sometime soon. I really, really hope that it does. Because if it doesn't, we're gonna be... It's, it's gonna be a doozy. It's gonna be a doozy. It's gonna be a doozy. And of course, you guys, do not forget, make sure you stick around until the end of the video to figure out how you can win a... I just blanked for a moment because I felt like I dropped something. <laughs> how you can win your own Flash Fire Booster Box as well. But as you can see, we have Geodude here. Then we have Fly Baby. Hey! Up next, we have a Stunky. Then we have a Roselia. We have a Binnacle up next. We have a Reverse Holographic Shinx. Ooh, shiny. Then we have a Furret with Buried Treasure Hunt as a move. It's kind of a stretch, if I do say so myself. It's got Buried Treasure Hunt as a move. All right, more, more power to you, buddy. Then we have a Pal Pad. We have a Sneasel. And we have the Pokemon Center Lady. I'm telling you guys, we're getting nothing but duplicates. 
We got Judo, Judo, Binnacle, Binnacle, Spritzy, Spritzy, Pokemon Center Lady. Can I get a Mega Charizard X, a Mega Charizard Y, a Mega Charizard Mega, 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 all the Megas in the game? <laughs> Next up, we have a Roselia. Then we have a Duskull. Then we have a Litleo. Then we have a Sandial. A Bergmite. A Reverse Holographic Protection Cube. Can we get a Mega? Can we get an EX? We have a Holographic Shift Tree. Ooh! With a Deranged Dance as well. We're going to put that one aside. We have a Nuzleaf. A Croc Rock. And a Blacksmith as well. So let's go ahead and take a gander at that Nuzleaf real quick, like. Let's go ahead and show, show it off to you guys. Check out that powerful holographic Nuzleaf. You know, I've all but given up on the, on the, oh, 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 as soon as I say it, it does it. Deranged Dance and Leaf Draw. I'll just say, oh, it kind of, kind of fell out of focus again. I was going to say, as soon as I said it, it focused. But I was going to say, I kind of sort of gave up on really getting the focus to come in. Because I, I think you guys can see it for the most part. You guys can see it for the most part as well. But that Shift Tree is so much power. It's so much power. So much power. Alright, so moving on, we have another Mega Charizard Y pack. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. We get a Mega Charizard Y out of this bitch right here. Probably not, though. Up next, we have a Helioptile. This is the only third one that we've got on the entire box so far. This is our third Helioptile. Then we have a Pidgey. Pidgey looking pissed as hell, telling you to peck off. Then we have a Caterpie. We have a Bergmite. A Feebas. A reverse holographic peck off Pidgey. Are you kidding me? <laughs> reverse holographic. Then we get another Luxray. That's not holographic. We just deck is this. this I say this deck. This this box is just not good to us. A protection cube, an Avalug, and a Fletchinder. How many times have we gotten the Avalug at the end of a pack so far? Which is this just deck. It's just, it's just not good to us. It's just not good to us. It's not good to us by any means. Up next we have a Mega Charizard X pack. We are breaking open here. I can see the Scraggy already, the Scraggy. We have a Scraggy right off the bat. Then we have a Pineco or Pineco. Why do I keep doing that? We have a Sneasel again. We have an Esper. Then we have a Stunky. We have a Reverse Holographic, almost a Holographic Fiery Torch. Reverse Holographic Fiery Torch here. Then we have a Lopany, not Holographic at all. Sit Down Bounce is what it's got a move called. A Startling Megaphone. A Luxio and a Maractus. I feel like a move like sit down bounce should be like bounce where it's two turns, but it's a guaranteed flinch when it hits. You know what I mean? Like it makes you sit down. You know what I mean? That's some only using blade shit right there. Sit down. Alright, up next we have a uh, Pyroar pack. A nice and Pyroar pack. A nice and Pyroar pack. As you can see, we are leading off with a Stunky here. Nice and stinky Stunky. We have a Shinx. Then a Litleo. We got Shinx and Litleo back to back. Not bad. Then we have a Duskull. Then we have a Fletchling. A Reverse Holographics feel. A little Ice Balls feel. He's an Ice Ball himself. Then we have another Holographic Pyroar. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Another Holographic Pyroar. I'll set that one aside as well. We have a... It just... It keeps doing this to me. Stop doing this. Oh. My. God. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I don't know why I... Uh, what is it doing? Why does it... Why does it say this? Why does it say this? Now it records fine. What the actual fuck? I don't understand. I don't understand this thing sometimes. By the way, we have a Floet. Then we have a Pokemon Fan Club. And then we have a Love Disc. Nice and Love Disc. Nice and Love Disc. Nice and Love Disc. So still, no luck. No luck. I feel like with the inclusion of EX and especially the Mega Char... Oh, the Mega Charizard. I say because that's the pack we're opening. But the Mega Cards, like, that's, that's all anyone wants to focus on right now is getting one of those cards. Like, oh, the other cards are nice, but I just want a fucking Mega. Anyways, up next we have a Skrelp. Then we have a Scraggy. Then we have a Flabe. Hey, hey! Then we have another Stunky. God damn it. Stunky, go away! We have another Shinx. Shinx, go away! Shit! We have a Reverse Holographic Weasel. Nice and Weasel, nice and Weasel. Then we have a Heliolisk. Oh, this is actually the first Heliolisk we've gotten out of the entire box. We've only gotten, what, three Helioptiles? Now we've only gotten one Heliolisk. Why are they so rare in this, in our in our box, at least? We have a Sacred Ash. It's not holographic BT dubs. The Heliolisk is not holographic. It'd be sick as fuck if it was. We have a Sacred Ash, a, a Floet, and last but not least, another Protection Cube. This, uh, this Charizard, Charizard EX card is sitting there all lonely by itself. We only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs left. And the Charizard is just chilling there, all lonely by itself. 
All lonely by itself. I don't know why I don't know what to tell it. Up next, we have a Fletchling. Then we have a Shinx. Then we have a Sandile. Then we have a C Dot. Then we have a Pidgey. A Reverse Holographic Ultra Ball. Oh! 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 Holographic Florgus! Oh my god! Oh! I don't even want to touch it! It's so pretty! It's so beautiful! Oh my god! Luxio! A Maractus! A Nuzleaf! I did! You can't have Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Where is it at? Where is that? Do I have something for this right away? I don't. Shit, it's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. I don't care. I don't care right now. This thing is getting put right inside. Oh my god! Before I, I shouldn't do this before I show it off, but I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a damn, nigga. You don't give a damn, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You see that? I put that bitch in the 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 case right away. That is, see, look, the, that reflection fucks it up. That Florgus is beautiful. That Florgus is beautiful. Can we get the sink? Is that a possibility at all? Please, like, if there's one time out of any that I want you to sink, it's right now. Well, you guys can kind of sort of make it out. It's got Brilliant Search and Petal Blizzard, but look at that art. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, maybe it's just because I'm a Florgus fanboy. I absolutely love Florgus. It's easily, it have been, quickly become one of my favorite six-gen Pokemon. It is so bulky. It just eats up hits all day, every day. Oh my god, I love Florgus. I love Florgus. It was one of those Pokemon that I really didn't give two shits about before the 6th gen dropped. But once I used it, oh my god, Florgus. Florgus is so good. It's so good. It is so good. Alright, up next we have a Buizel to start this pack off with. Then we have a Sandile. Then we have a Ponyta. A another Sneasel. <laughs> then we have a C Dot. Then we have a Sentret, a Reverse Holographic Sentret. This is our second Reverse Holographic Sentret of the, of the pack. A Skun Tank. I guess if enough Skunky, Skunky, Stunky show up, a Skun Tank will show up eventually. Then we have a Sneasel as well. Then we have a Metapod. Pro Metapod's in the building. And then we have the Forever Alone Mill Tank. Hashtag Forever Alone Mill Tank. Goddamn. Giggity Goddamn. Then we have a Mega Charizard Y. They need to stop taunting me with the Mega Charizard Y pack and the Mega Charizard X pack. Because this shit is just pissing me off. So we're going to lead off this pack with an Esper. Then we have a Spiritzy. Then we have a Litleo. Then we have a Sneasel. Then we have a Flabebe. Hey, Flabebe. We have a Reverse Holographic Pokemon Center Lady. Then we have a Pidgeot. Ooh, it's kind of sort of 3D modelish. It's got Strong Gust as a move. That's Choice, Choice Specs Gust right there. I almost said Choice Banded. Strong Gust sounds like it's Choice Banded, though. So, I don't know. But Pidgeot's there. It's not holographic or anything. We have a Dusclops. Then we have a Pidgeotto. And then we have a Startling Megaphone to wrap this pack up with. Again, you're just not, you're just not, you're not getting lucky at all. That Charizard EX card is the only one out of the entire pack. See, I'm telling you, Leo did this to me. Because after he saw last week's pack, he sent me a message on Skype. And he's like... I'm so jelly that Full Art Dragonite, you better not get a Mega Charizard X card or whatever, and now I'm just, he put that voodoo curse on me, and I'm there, I'm just not gonna get it. Alright, we have an Esper to start this one off, we started the last one off with an Esper, god damn it. See, this creepy ass Esper is fucking jinxing us right here, god damn it. Then we have a Binnacle, a Sveal, a Caterpie, why did he include Caterpie, get the fuck about. We have a Bunner, Bunner Free, a Bunner Free, Lunary, we have a Reverse Holographic Fly Bay Bay. Then we have, ooh, ooh, we have a holographic Drudagon, and I'm not, like, Drudagon, like, I don't have any, it's like, a, a special association with Drudagon, but that art is powerful, I'll show you guys that here momentarily. We have a Sligu, we have a Fiery Torch, and then we have an Avalug again at the end of the pack, god damn it. Uh, the only other uh, Dr Drudagon art that I really remember seeing was from, what was it, Dragon's Vault, Dragon's Gate, whatever the Dragon's Only series that came out last year was, that had all the holographics in it and shit. Um, it reminds me a lot of that, but look at that. It's got Revenge and Dragon Claw on it. Look at that. I would have focused on that one. Look at the claw. Look at it. It's just that fluid motion. It's so aggressive. So much energy is in that picture. I love that a lot. That's a very powerful card. I like that one a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Alright, so we have a Pyro card as well. 
We have a Pyroar card as well. Oh, not Pyroar card. We have a Pyroar pack we're going to open up. It's leading off with a Litleo. Then we have a Gumi. A Scrope. Then we have a Ponyta. A Boonary. A reverse holographic Lit Leo. I was honestly trying to like figure out when the hell am I actually gonna run into one of these. I've run into so many goddamn Lit Leos in this pack so far. Then we have a. Here's the Butterfree with the Gus. How are you gonna go Quiver Dance Gus? What the fuck? Get up out. God damn it. It's not even holographic either. We have a Magnet Storm. A Celio. And then last but not least, we have Lissandre. Ha! Huh. So again, no luck. No luck. Zone! No luck. Zone! We have four packs remaining. Four packs remaining. We have two. Oh, we have two Mega Kangaskhans and two Charizard Ys. All right, so Mega Kangaskhan, be good to me, yo. Be good to me. Be good to me. Be good to me. Be good to me. Come on now. Come on now. We're gonna lead this pack off with a Fla Baby. Then we have a Helioptile. Then we have a Centret. A Litleo. A Gumi. And reverse holographic Avalug. I was gonna say we run into at the end of the deck every single time, and now we get in the middle. It's gotta be something special. We have a reverse holographic Avalug with, of course, it's water type, even though in the game it's ice type, but you know, it's, it's, it's according to the set. So it's reverse holographic Avalug. Then we have a Durant, not even holographic. Ah! Then we have a Trick Shovel and a Rapidash. And then another fur fruit. You know, when I first saw Reverse Holographic, because like I said, I've told you guys this before, you know, I played through, um, I, well, I didn't say play through like it's an actual game. I played TCG a little when I was younger, and I collected when I was younger as well. And they had holographics, that was like the cream of the crop. This was before EX was a thing, before any of that stuff. And then the first time I saw Reverse Hollow, I just paused and I thought to myself and said, that's so cheap and petty in my opinion. Like, don't get me wrong, I love seeing the cards and everything, it's just... That's like their way of saying, like, oh, we don't want to make any more holographic cards, so here's, like, a half-assed holographic. See what I'm saying? I don't know. That's just how I see it. I'm sure some of you guys feel the same way. If not, more power to you. But either way, leading off this pack, we have a Pineco. Then we have a Buizel. Then we have a Centret. Then we have a Sfeel. We have a Scraggy. It's got Tail Wrap as a move. What the hell? What the hell? We have a Reverse Holographic, like this, like this right here. Reverse Holographic Geodude. Like, what the fuck? Like, Geodude itself isn't even all that great. So now it's like their half-assed attempt to make an even better card by making it Reverse Holographic. See what I'm saying? Like, that's just... Then we have... Ooh! We have another Charizard EX with Wing Attack and Combustion Blast. Ooh! I'll set that one aside for you guys to see. We have a Roserade, we have a Metapod, and we have a Torkoal as well. Ooh, that's interesting. So our two EX cards so far, this one reminds me of the Halucha one from last week. Oh shit, I just gave that away, god damn it. It reminds me of the Halucha EX card from Fury's Fist. How it's got so much color along the side. I know it's not focusing like it fucking should be. Like, like look at this side as well, there's so much color. So much color. It's so, so powerful. That Charizard EX card. It's so, so powerful. Um, I like the positioning of the other one. I'll show you guys both of them here in a minute. I like the positioning of the other one better, because he's kind of like reaching. Well, I guess this one's reaching out to you as well, but that one, it's more action-packed. But I like the, the art style on this one. It's not as cartoonish. It doesn't have as many uh, curved edges. It's a lot sharper. So I like that one uh, a bit more. But we only have two packs left. Mega Kangaskhan and Mega Charizard Y. We have to hope we get lucky with this one. Again, I'm going to go ahead and close my eyes. I don't know which one we're going to open up first. We just opened up a Mega Charizard Y one, because I know we opened up Mega Kangaskhan last time I mentioned that we only have four left. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull this one, which is Mega Kangaskhan. <laughs> so we went ahead and kept the same order. All right, Mega Kangaskhan it is, then. Let's take the code out and go ahead. We have a Spritzy. We have a Litleo. We have a Duskull. We have a Fletchling, we have a Helioptile, a Reverse Holographic Bergmite, then we have- Oh! Oh! Oh my lord! The Magnazone EX is so strong! Oh my god! Oh, 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 I just got lightheaded! Oh my god, I just got lightheaded as a motherfucker looking at that! We got a Palpad, an Ultra Ball, and a Fletchinder, oh my god! Wow! Wow! Look at this! Look at this! It's got Electro Ball and Dual Bullet! 
Look at this. Magnazone EX. Look at how you're focusing on that. Oh my god. That is so powerful. That is such a powerful card. Look at that art. Oh my god. That's easily one of my favorite. Oh my god. That's easily one of my favorite EX cards I've seen to date. That is so powerful. That is so powerful. All right. So luck came through with us on that one. Let's hope in our final pack here. In our final, final pack, we can get another EX card or a Mega card. Hopefully, we can get a Mega card out of this one. That would be a godsend. But Stunky has attacked once again, so we probably won't get it. But we have Stunky here. Then we have a Duskull. Then we have a Flabebe. A Pineco. A Centret. A Reverse Holographic Floatzel. A Scrafty is the rare card. It's got Jet Headbutt. That's a move. Scrafty, it's not even a holographic. God damn it, Scrafty. <sighs> we have a Crocker Rock, a Blacksmith, and a Love Disc. Ain't that a bitch in the final pack? How trolly is that? That Callum pops up. No EX card for you, nigga. <laughs> right there. So either way, I'm going to go ahead and show off our uh, our holographic cards real quick for you guys. We have a Drudagon, a Florgus already in the case. We have a Pyroar. We have a Shiftry. We have a Gudra. We have a Carbink, we have a Milotic, we have a Pyroar, we have a, uh, well this is Reverse Holographic Golem, and a Dust Snow Wire. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these up here on the other screen as well, just in case it works out better. But as you can see, we have Drudagon, then we have Florgus, then we have, let me go ahead and do it this way, let's put Florgus on the bottom, then we have Pyroar. I'm not going to show it twice again. We have a Pyroar here. Then we have a Shiftry with its deranged dance. We have a Shiftry. Then we have a Gudra. I love this Gudra so much. A Gudra. Then we have a Carbink. A Carbink. A Carbink. Then we have a Milotic right there. Nice and Milotic. Nice and Milotic. Then we have all the, the other Pyroar again. We have the Reverse Holographic Golem. I don't know why I held on to that one. Probably just because of the art. I like the art on that one a lot. Reverse Holographic Golem. And then the first one we got tonight being the Dust in the Wire. All Alone in the Woods. I got you that Dust in the Wire and that Scrappy Mill Tank that's all by itself. Hashtag Forever Alone Mill Tank. Bet you they could be friends. And then of course we have our EX cards. We didn't get as many as last, uh, last week. But we do have the first Charizard EX card. Then we have the second Charizard EX card. And then we have the Magnazone EX card as well. And of course, one last time for you guys up here on the other screen, we have Charizard EX, the first one. Then we have Charizard EX, the second, over here. Can we not, can we say on camera? Poor for four. It's got wing attack. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Magnazone EX, one of the best EX cards I've ever seen. Magnazone is so imposing. I love Magnazone a lot. Nice and Magnazone. But with that, you guys, if you want to enter, I guess you could say enter, to win a chance at uh, getting your own flash fire, your very own flash fire uh, booster box as well. Uh, what I need you guys to do in the description, in the description, in the comment section, is I need you guys to leave a comment detailing what your favorite, your favorite uh, art. Hold on, I'm trying to multitask, and I can't, I can't do everything all at once. Leave a comment detailing what your favorite art from the Flash Fire booster box, or from the Flash Fire set is, and make sure you smash the like button down below as well. Next week, at the start of the booster box video, which goes up every Sunday morning, at the start of it, I will go ahead and randomly pull a winner from the comment section, but make sure that you comment and you smash the like button if you enjoyed as well. But with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get about this bitch. Thank you all so much again for checking out these Booster Box videos. I love it. It's another area, it's another aspect of Pokemon that we can explore together. But like I said, thank you all once again for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube, Apple 92. Uh, I'm out.